an indefatigable Congress Sevika, was born in 1916 in Bombay. She imbibed the liberal culture from her father, Justice Somji, who was known for his integrity and uprightness. Impressed by the Mahatma Gandhi's movement called Salt Satyagraha, which defied the unjust salt law by preparing salt from the sea water, she joined Congress and its volunteer corps, the Congress Sevika Dal. Because of her keen interest and hard work, she was made the GOC. As the GOC, she was not merely imparting physical training to the Sevikas, but also organize, organizing camps. And she opened classes in crafts with a view of uh, making them self-reliant. She infused a sense of nationalism in the volunteers. Sophia Ben was married to Sadullah Khan, the son of Dr. Khan Sahib and the nephew of the frontier Gandhi Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan at Vartha. Sufya Ben was loved and admired by the volunteers of the Sevika Dal and highly respected by the congressman. She found a place on the board control of the People's Volunteer Brigade formed under chairmanship of, of, of uh, uh, Bhuba, uh, Bhubal, Bhubhai Desai to train people in self-defense in the time of the Japan's threat, uh, attack, threatened attack and actually they attacked the India in January 1942. She was arrested on August 9th, 1942 along with Gandhiji's, Pandit Nehru, Sardar Patel and many others who were taken to uh, Yaravda jail, Pune. She got to, she was imprisoned when her son was just nine years old. In jail, Sophia Ben worked as a bridge builder between the prisoners professing different ideologies like Gandhiism and communism, moderate and extremist belonging to different age group, as also known the jail authorities and the prisoners. She, however, never allowed her tolerance and understanding to come in the way of the championing the just cause of upholding the basic principles of Satyagraha, like sticking to the truth, not compromising on fundamentals, and being prepared to suffer punishment for violating the jail rules. Sophia Ben used to attend prayers regularly. She used to observe her fast during Ramzan and it were her practice to distribute fruits and other eatables to the, poor, to the people. She was allowed to have uh, allowed to have a detinue among her fellow prisoners. She also used to spend daily. She used to look after the younger prisoners like her own children whom he missed very much, being so young. She had mastery over knitting. When political prisoners undergoing rigorous uh, imprisonment were sometimes asked to knit for other prisoners, some who did not know knitting found it extremely difficult to uh, finish the allotted quota of work in a time. Sophia, Sophia Ben opened a class for such prisoners and sometimes took it upon herself to complete the quota allotted to them. Sophia Ben left or rather had to leave Bombay, her beloved city, 
to join her family in Peshawar where her in-laws and children were waiting for her. But she came back in 1961 and she breathed her last on March 16, 1961. Sophia Ban left a remarkable and indelible mark in the history of her freedom fighters of India. She will be remembered till time eternity. Thank you very much.